Hello, Aaron here from Prof. Pinay Pixel. In this lesson, we will learn how to connect your Java program into your database. So, let's begin. Uh, first, what are the things that we need to have uh, in order to to accomplish this, this uh, lesson? First is, I am using NetBeans to create a Java program. The second one is SUMP for creating a database care of MySQL. And the third one is MySQL connector. So later on, uh, I will show you how to download it and how to import it in your uh, NetBeans project. Okay, so first is we need to open the SUMP run it as administrator the reason why we need to run this as administrator because we will enable the module service for apache and mysql so make sure that this is enabled and after that we can start the action for apache and my SQL. So just click the start button and make sure that uh, there's no error here. If you're okay with this, we can actually minimize. And after that, uh, we will go to the dashboard of the SAMP. So how to access that using the default value of localhost. Uh, which is 1 to 7.0.0.1 okay so you can type you can type it in your respective browser and we can access the dashboard uh, if you go here in php my admin you can create a database here just click the database section or tab and let's say database name is uh, prof pinoy pixel create table name is uh, let's say personal information or this for uh, practicing purposes only so it's up to you and then the number of columns uh, again random name so I will uh, you know I will type here the common like last name first name middle name contact number uh, and then after that we can save but if you uh, if you already know how to set up a table within the database, so much better if you uh, organize or customize the you know the information here, like the length values. Uh, it can be twenty five or more. Okay, so the type is character except for the contact number so it, it should be in the integer but again the purpose of our lesson for today is connection of uh, Java program into the uh, database that's why uh, we will not focus on these uh, elements so save okay so take note of our database, which is Prof. Pinoy Pixel. Later on, we will use that. And moving on, in our NetBeans, uh, we will create a project with Java with Ant, not Java with Maven. Because the difference of these two, Java with Maven doesn't have a libraries where we can import a uh, connector in java with ant 
we can actually uh, add other resources here, especially uh, the MySQL connector that we'll uh, discuss later on. So Java with Ant, Java application, next. And then let's say connection database and then finish. Okay, and here in our source code, we can input uh, import java.sql.all no, to read the SQL queries or whatnot. And I have here a uh, blocks of code wherein we can actually uh, have the output of database connection. Uh, I will uh, place it here. Okay. In this code, so I intentionally uh, place a, a bug here so that we can analyze, we can troubleshoot it just in case you encounter this. So, you see, there's no error in the NetBase itself. But if we run this, so uh, uh, expect that we will encounter bug. And then in that bug, we will troubleshoot it. Okay? So let's try to run this. So connection failed. Let's see the error or let's see the suggested error. No suitable driver found for JDBC. Okay, how to fix this? We can actually fix this by injecting a MySQL connector. Uh, so just go into your browser and search for MySQL connector. or let's say MySQL Java connector, the first suggested website, so we need to proceed on that. The particular website is dev.mysql.com. In the operating system, so just choose the platform independent. And you can, you can use this two options but I personally want to to use this second so the one that is zipped download this uh, no need to log in or sign up just scroll it down and you can uh, you you can see this no thanks just start my download just click and I will place it here in my desktop for easier access. I will delete the existing. Okay. Now, if we extract the the archive file, the one that we download, let's check the content. Okay, so never mind the other content. Instead, focus on this MySQL dash connector and the version that jar. So we will need this in our project. Okay. Moving on. Go to the project file and here in libraries, right click add jar slash folder and locate the connector that we extract uh, a while ago. So in this case, uh, this is what we, we should or we must place it here. Open or simply we will import that jar here in our libraries. And you see, 
Now, let's see if we will encounter the same problem or error. Right click, run file. Okay. Another error appear, but we solved the previous error. So, what's the problem? Communications link failure. To solve this, go to some control panel. Look for the port. So, in this case, the value of or the port number of our MySQL is 3306. If we see our code, the string URL have the port number of 8080. So, we need to change it into 3306. Okay? 3306. So, given that we have here the local host. Okay? Now, if you see, we have here the database name. So, what's the database that we create before? So, we have here Prof Pinay Pixel. So, that's the one that we will uh, paste it here. Okay. So, let's see if we will encounter the same error. Run file. We solved the previous error, but we have another error. So what is that? Access denied for user uh, using the password. So basically, uh, our DABAC program cannot read the database because of the user credential is not correct. Let's see. We declared the user is root and we declare the password is the password itself. Let's see in our dashboard if uh, we have we have these credentials. Okay, so go to the database or go to the local host. Okay, once we go here in PHP My Admin, find the user account, and we can actually see the different existing account here. No, let's see. Host name is. We need to find the host that has a value of one to seven point zero point zero point one. So we have existing. The username is root. So we, we declare the user the same. And look at the password. It has no password. That's why we encountered the access denied problem because we declare a password. We're in here in our user account. The username we root doesn't have password. So all we need to do, just leave it blank with corresponding quotation mark. Okay, and after that, let's see if we can actually connect the database uh, successfully. So run file. And... Here you go. We we connect our Java program into the database. So that's it. And I hope that you learned in our lesson for today. Uh, see you next time. Aaron here from Prof. Pinay Pixel.